Welcome back to Skibbity Tech. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic, Bluetooth LE spam, testing on the latest iOS 18 devices. If you've ever wondered how Apple's new updates handle Bluetooth low energy pop-ups, this is the video for you. Let's get started. Bluetooth low energy, or Bluetooth LE, is a low power wireless technology designed for short range communication. It's what powers features like AirTag tracking, fitness trackers, and even pairing devices seamlessly with your iPhone or iPad. This can send constant pairing requests to devices, essentially spamming users with pop-ups. So, how does iOS 18 handle this? For this test, I'll be using an Android device with Bluetooth LE spam app to simulate Bluetooth less spam. This will repeatedly send pairing requests to an iPhone running the latest iOS 18. Apple has been improving its Bluetooth management with every iOS update, so let's see if iOS 18 can effectively handle or block these spammy pop-ups. Bluetooth LE Spam app is focuses on utilizing Android smartphones, built-in Bluetooth low energy functionality to create phantom Bluetooth device advertisements. Similar to what is known, for instance, in the case of the Flipper Zero, while other apps are available that provide similar functionality. Now let's see if iOS 18 can effectively handle or block these pop-ups, as you can see I am using an iPhone running latest iOS 18. And next to it is the Android device with Bluetooth LE spam app installed in it. Now I will open the Bluetooth LE spam app and then hit on the continuity option for iOS devices. Then simply hit the play button to send Bluetooth LE spam to my iPhone device. As you can see, the pairing requests are coming in rapidly. In previous versions of iOS, these pop-ups were coming the same way. The only thing I have noticed that in various iOS 17 devices, Bluetooth LE spam was temporarily freeze the iOS devices for a few minutes before automatically restarting. iOS crash is considered half-fixed due to the release of iOS 17.2, but in iOS 18 is completely fixed now and no more crash on iOS 18. This is great news for anyone concerned about Bluetooth spam or potential vulnerabilities. With iOS 18, Apple continues to prioritize user security and convenience. Of course, no system is perfect and there's always room for improvement. If you've experienced Bluetooth spam on iOS 18, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful or interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more iOS-related content. Until next time, stay tech-savvy.